Hi, in this video we'll learn about header and footer elements. So let's get started. It's very important to define a header and footer element when we create any layout. It helps in detecting beginning and ending of the page. It also helps in improving field detection and fast execution. So let's see how we can create header and footer elements. So inside this search element, we have to group field one is header and one is footer so inside this search element what I will do I will create a static text I will name as keyword statement and inside this search control we have three options one is optional element required element and prohibited elements if we keep this one's uh, required element, it means that that element must be present inside the document. Okay, if we select this option prohibited, then it means that particular element should not appear inside this document. And if we select this optional element, it means that that element may present, maybe not inside this document. Okay, so I will select this option and inside this static text tab I will copy this one and paste it here okay I will check this box take spaces into account and click on apply and okay I will go to relation first so inside this relation what we can do I will select this option page top edge and click on apply and additionally what we can do we can click on this one as well search constant and then we can define this uh, absolute search area constant so just check this box click on add and here, here you can define our pages so I will select this range and I will type 1 click on add click on apply ok and then we'll match this one So I have clicked on this one. So here you can see it's highlighting this one KW statement. So it's identifying this keyword perfectly. So similarly, we'll create uh, other header elements. Okay, so before that, what I will do just now we have seen a required element, right? So if I will select this one, we'll see what will happen. Click on apply. Okay. So now it should not match this particular document. can see it's not showing any hypothesis here because this this one is prohibited okay so now what we have to do okay I will select this one as optional and click on apply ok and then uh, we'll create one more element ok and then we'll select this static text and this time we'll define this one credit card number ok so we'll type kw credit card 
number okay and inside this one copy this main credit card and paste it here we'll check this one option click on apply ok ok so we'll match it again Okay, so, so it's showing this credit card number. So we'll create one more element and then we'll see why we need that optional element parameter. Okay, so we'll click on this search element. Sorry, search uh, static text. And this time, what I will do, I will create a single static text for all these three elements. Okay, so for that, I will define as KW period okay and then inside this static text what I will do I will copy this one okay I will copy this one as well and we'll copy this one as well so there is some gap between these lines so for that I will first select this option take spaces into account and then we'll define some length okay I will give this one as 300 let's see and then click on apply and ok match the layout not highlighting this last one okay so I have to make some changes in this one so what I will do I will remove this last line and then we'll check whether it's identifying this element or not okay click on apply okay and I will press ctrl E So again it's not undefined this one okay we'll check it okay I will select this option match case let's see okay I will check this option as well permit multiple lines because of that might be it's not identifying click on apply ok and then let's click on match
so it's identifying this element now okay so now what we have to do we'll click on this header and here we have a option minimum number of font sub element so if we give this option as two it's mean that any combination of these three element can be considered as a header okay we we'll click on apply and click on ok and then we can test it again I will press ctrl E ok I will click on header so it's identifying anything ok so there may be a chances maybe some of the text are not present okay some of the headers are not present then any the any two combination of these keywords can be con considered as a header similarly we can create a footer so for footer what we can do i have this text okay so for footer what i will do i will right click then click on add element and then we'll select static text and here will give us kw limits okay and for static text what we can do I'll just copy this one we'll check this option and click on apply and OK. OK. So we'll test this one. Click on match. I will click on footer this time and it's highlighting this one so this is how you can create header and footer elements in flexi layout studio so that's all for this video thank you for watching